Hey everyone, uh, my name is David. I'm going to be your instructor for um, the Glenda Adventist group. And I thought it'd just be easier to make a video, introduce myself, go over a couple of things that are going to happen tomorrow. So um, we're going to be meeting at 6 a.m. Make sure to be at the hospital at 6 a.m. We're going to be having our pre-conference on the third floor conference room in the East Tower. So the Glenda Adventist cam campus is a little bit, um, it can be a little bit confusing. So if you guys want, um, let's meet at the front at the main entrance. Um, it's off Wilson Terrace and you go all the way up through the there's a little path and it'll have a heroes work here sign and um, I can meet you guys out there um, I'll put my cell phone number in the email as well so that if you guys get lost or anything you guys can always call me um, I'm gonna be there pretty early so we can uh, find each other um, so we will meet up there we'll probably go to the conference room and um, we're gonna be picking up our badges at 7 a.m. so we'll have to find where we're gonna get our badges and um, and then we'll get our day started so when it comes to parking um, assuming that all of you guys are coming from Azusa to Glendale you're gonna be taking the 210 to the 134 so you'll exit Harvey Drive you'll take a right and then you'll take a quick left onto Wilson Terrace and when it comes to parking you guys can park anywhere on Wilson Terrace where there aren't any signs, obviously, that say you can't park there or any red, um, you know, fire, fire, um, fire reserve lines. Um, you can also park in the back parking lot behind the staff training center. And I'm going to post the I'll attach the um, the map for the for the site and it's pretty clear you can see all the streets and you guys can um, figure that out I highly recommend carpooling if you guys are all going to be coming together um, that's gonna help all of you guys you know find one less parking spot and then you guys can all walk together um, you can also park on Sinclair Avenue on the um, on the west side of the street um, you can park there all day. On the east side, there is a sign that says no parking on Tuesdays from 12 to 2, which sucks because that's right in the middle of our day and you guys can't move your cars or anything. So um, that's an option. There's also uh, Vallejo Street right next to the hospital and you can find parking there. Again, anywhere that there's no signage saying that you can't park there, or any red lines, you guys are free to park there as well. Um, Worst comes to worst, if you guys do need to park in the visitor parking lot, you guys can do that. Um, there is a fee to pay. I'm not sure exactly how much it is, but um, you guys can park there as well. Um, unfortunately, we weren't issued parking passes, um, like employee parking passes, for us to be able to park in the employee parking lot, which is usually what happens, but um, maybe we'll get more info on that tomorrow as well. Um, so the plan for tomorrow is like i said let's meet up at the front where it says the heroes work here and um we'll all kind of go together as a group so we're not you know all running around trying to find each other and we'll get our badges and at 10 30 we're gonna have our glucometer training with terry and she's gonna sign us off and give us access to the glucometer so that you guys can do blood sugar checks on the floors with your nurses um, for all the patients there um, which is very important. Uh, I was told it's about an hour to an hour and a half training. So uh, I know you guys all did the certifications, which is awesome. And we'll do that with Terry. Um, and then we're going to meet with the educator, Liz, who will um, kind of give us a little tour, hopefully, and give us access to Cerner, which is the charting system for um, this hospital. And that's where you guys will be able to look up patient charts and labs and you know meds and all the all things to do with the patients and that's what you guys will kind of be um your basing your think like a nurse care plans off of as well so that's really important too um what to bring obviously wear your scrubs uh maybe bring a jacket some of the units are freezing so um we're their guests of course so 
uh, we're not going to be messing with their thermostats. So uh, just bring a light jacket just in case you get cold. Um, wear the appropriate shoes. I don't know what color you guys are supposed to wear. I'm sure you guys are briefed on that as well. Um, just make sure you know they're comfortable and nothing's going to be able to seep through them. Um, any supplies you might have, stethoscope. Um, I can't think of much else because the hospital will have everything else for you guys to use. Um, bring an extra mask. Just, you know, stick it in your bag. If you have an N95, that's great. Just keep it with you. Um, I'm sure that, you know, if there's a COVID patient or if there's anyone who needs airborne precautions that they will um, supply you with the right PPE. But um, let's just do that just to keep ourselves safe. Um, ladies, please no nails, no acrylic nails, no nail polish. Um, you're going to see nurses on the floor who are going to be wearing those things, but it's an APU rule. So let's uh, make sure we're following all those rules because at the end of the day, um, we are a reflection of the school and we want to make sure that uh, we're well respected and that um, we're following all the rules. So let's make sure we're following dress code and whoever has long hair, guys or girls, um, just needs to be tied up and not touching your shoulders. So whether that's in, you know, big bun, hair, a ponytail, whatever, um, in a big clip, doesn't matter. Just can't be touching your shoulders. So let's be mindful of that. Um, make sure you bring food, water. Uh, I'm sure most of all the units will have refrigerators for you guys to keep your stuff in. Um, if you have a lunchbox or an, or an ice pack, that's even better. And I do know that they have a cafeteria and vending machines open all day. So if you guys get hungry, you can most certainly go there on your lunch break and grab something to eat too. Um, I know it's been crazy getting this thing started, getting it off the ground. Um, you know, with, I was a last minute addition to help you guys out for this uh, rotation. So thank you guys so much for being patient. Um, we're going to be pulling some long shifts. So um, it's kind of good because you guys are going to get the real experience of what it's like to be at work for 12 to 13 hours uh, very early on in your program. Um, but, you know, grab your coffee, grab your snacks, whatever you need to do to get yourself through the day. Um, and let's all just come with a fresh mind. And, um, you know, I'm really looking forward to this rotation with you guys. I know you guys are a really smart group. I know you're all going to be successful. So um, let's just plan and prepare so that we can all do great in this clinical and that we can, you know, get this show on the road. So if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to text me and um, I will be at the hospital right around probably even before 6 a.m. to see what uh, what's going on and, um, you know, try to get the lay of the land. So um, get some rest and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye.